Hi, I'm Honda Pro Jason. Welcome to the Honda Pro Show. Watched by millions worldwide and kept alive because you subscribe. This week, we're gonna mix things up a little bit, so stay tuned, you're not gonna to wanna to miss this episode. Welcome to this week's edition of the Honda Pro Show. I'm Honda Pro Jason, and with me as always is my cameraman, Matt. Hello, everyone. Hey, Matt. This week has been probably one of the coolest weeks I've ever had. It all started when me and Matt took a drive down to Greensburg, Indiana. We were invited to the line-off event for the 2016 Honda Civic. The line-off event, let me explain. When the first car comes off the line, off the factory line, they have an event. It's called the line-off event. And me and Brent went down there to see the first car coming off the line. It was epically cool. All the associates stopped what they're doing. They all gathered around, they all cheered, they all clapped. It was so neat. And then afterwards, we were surprised with a little mini tour of the facility. We got to tape a couple things and we're gonna make a little mini video out of this mini tour and that's pretty cool. But what made this week even cooler, I went back to Ohio and I got to visit R&D right outside of Marysville. And in the R&D facility, I wish I could tell you everything I saw. In fact, I'll be able to show it to you because I got to video it. As far as I know, I'm one of the very first people to ever bring a video camera in there. We saw the wind tunnels, we saw the 3D printing, we saw the design floor, we saw some stuff that I can't even talk about, but we saw it, we filmed some of it. The reason we went out to Ohio is I was invited to do a talk for the Honda Young Professionals. So I did a talk in front of about 350 people all about my story, how I got to where I am. It was awesome. The next day, we went to go see the Marysville plant build Accords. So we sat there from beginning to end, we watched the whole thing, it was cool. I got to sit in the car when they were done building it, we went on a road test, we had to check everything out, squeaks and rattles, all the lights, all the switches. I have it all on tape, I can't wait for you guys to see this video. It was really, I mean, selling cars for 20 years like I did, and seeing the finished product, and then able to go back and see how they made it, was amazing. A monstrous, I can't say enough thank you to everyone I met, everyone that helped out with the videos. Honda, I don't need to tell you how awesome you are. So I hope you guys enjoyed that, and uh, let's get on with the show, shall we? Let's take a trip to Japan and visit the Tokyo Auto Show. Honda has blown us away with all the cool stuff this year. Let's run down a couple highlights. The Japanese Type R, which is the same as a European Type R, Japan is getting the Type R. Very limited though, 750 units only. They said they might build some more if enough people want them. So I would get your orders in early. And on a side note of the Type R, Mugen is actually putting together a Type R kit that's gonna be ready sometime next year. Honda also announced the Hybrid Odyssey. There's been rumors of the Hybrid Odyssey. It looks like Honda's making it for Japan but there's a good possibility that this hybrid technology will make its way to the US. Moving on to Honda's new transmission, it's a 10 speed. Yeah, 10 speed, Honda's making it. Most likely in the Anna plant, which I actually visited, didn't visit, but learned about it and I was right by it. A 10 speed transmission is gonna be awesome. More than likely it's gonna make its way into the, a new upcoming pilot, probably the new Odyssey and maybe the MDX. Honda's hydrogen car. This is another big one. We've been talking about the hydrogen car for a while. We've talked about it on the show. We've talked about hydrogen fuel pumps on the show. But it looks like Honda has a hydrogen engine component, a motor that's gonna go in that's no larger than a regular V6. And this is huge because, I said huge, it's really not huge, it's small, but it's huge news. The reason it's huge news is because if you can fit a V6 size engine into a hydrogen car, that means that you can have room for more people, more luggage, more everything. It won't take up the whole entire vehicle, which has been some of the problems with hydrogen cars in the past. Bringing out all the new news is a possibility and talk of an electric CRZ. Honda's been talking about coming out with a full electric car. And this might be a full electric sports car. And from what I've heard, it's gonna be fast like Tesla fast, like really fast in the couple hundred to 300 horsepower fast with four electric motors. That's a car I definitely want to check out and a car I definitely want to see. So there's a lot of really cool, fun stuff coming out of Tokyo. And I hope, like I said, 
not next year, but the year after, I want to be there and I'll be bringing you guys some coverage from the event. It's time for the SEMA show, and that means that Honda Pro Jason is going to Las Vegas. And what I'm going to see there is going to be awesome. They're going to have a concept ridgeline. It's actually an off-road concept, but it's going to give us a really good indication of what the new ridgeline is going to look like. They're also going to have the updated mid-model refresh for the CRZ. Yeah, the CRZ is still going to stick around. It looks like they've updated the batteries, possibly the engine itself. They put an electric power brake and a brake hold. What other differences? We're going to have to find out. We also have all four HRVs to look at. Remember, Honda sent out four different companies HRVs. Uh, BC Moto got an HRV. Mad Industries got an HRV. Uh, Fox Advertising got an HRV. And Neil Tejan got an HRV. And they're all modifying these cars. They're going to make them super crazy. And I'm going to be there. I'm going to try to interview all these guys. At least I'm going to check out their cars. It is going to be awesome. So I'm going to do a full review of the whole SEMA show. And I can promise you guys, there's going to be things in this video that are going to blow your socks off. A Honda Pro Jason side note. The Honda BRV is coming to India. Looks like it's scheduled for the next fiscal year. This BRV is going to be a seven passenger and available with a diesel engine or a regular gas engine. It's fun fact time. And this fun fact I learned from the Marysville Auto Plant. Every vehicle that leaves that plant gets three liters of gas put in. And that's your fun fact of the week. One of my most popular videos on YouTube is Honda's secret museum right in California. But that's not Honda's only museum. They also have one in Marysville, Ohio. And that museum is the Honda Heritage Center. And this one, not only can you guys visit, it's also free. All you have to do is make a reservation. I'm going to put a link right below where you guys can check it out. It is awesome. It's all about Honda's heritage here in America. They have the second Accord to come off the American plant. And remember, the Accord was actually the very first car a Japanese manufacturer made here in America. So there's so much history, guys. You have to see the CRX and the right-hand drive Accord, and I, I could go on for days. What I want to let you guys know is also, I'm going to the SEMA show in Las Vegas. You guys can follow my entire journey on all my social media pages. Remember, I do, I do post different things on different pages. So follow me on Instagram and Twitter and Google+. I even have a Snapchat, Facebook, and of course, YouTube. So until then, I'm the Honda Pro, and now you're in the know.